So today, we are going to do a fun dealy jiggy on a flashlight. We're gonna remodel this thing. This is a very low cost flashlight I got on Amazon. Um, I saw it and I just wanted to try it out. But anyway, lightweight, aluminum, nice design. Um, I figure though we can do some cool stuff with this using hydrographics and coatings and stuff. And what's really cool about this one in terms of doing projects here at the shop is we can actually take out the one end, we can disassemble here, and we can then plug using uh, silicone plugs both ends here so you keep it fully watertight when we work on it. Um, that's one of the big deals with working with electronics. Now, there's no problem with submerging something like a flashlight in the dip tank and all that, as long as you let it fully dry before you try to use it again. The ability to take out the lens and take off the, the crown and all that, and put a silicone plug in there and keep water out of it means as soon as the hydrographics and the coating is dry, we can put a battery in and use it right away. So we can even take this clip off and we can do some fun stuff with this. So let's do some fun stuff with this. Let's see what we can do um, coating wise and hydrographics wise. Very simple, silicone plugs made a little handle so we can hang it up during all the coating and drying procedures, but this will protect everything inside from getting water and everything in it. And uh, it'll also protect all the internals from blasting. So let's put it inside the blast cabinet and get this all stripped and ready for coating. One thing is when it slides in and out there to zoom, um, I'm going to keep this natural metal color there as kind of a a measure of where it is in its zoom cycle um, and just to give it a little bit different kind of look too so I'm gonna keep it slid all the way back as we do the blasting and dipping and everything else what it is it's a very it's a dark bluish green but I think it's gonna look really good on the light especially after we uh, do all of our laser grading when it's all done so I'm gonna get the paint cup filled I'm gonna set up the gun and put on my mask and get this thing going and at the same time I have this uh, steel bottle that's just been waiting for some color so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this up too with the same color some of this extra green so I just put it on the flashlight to you know jazz it up a little bit so what I'm going to do now is get the dip ready with the hydrographics so something that's called deceptive which is one of my favorite patterns and on something small like a flashlight it's great because it lets a lot of the original color show through but it also is a small pattern and on a small thing like a flashlight you need a small pattern some of the larger patterns just get lost because there's not a lot of real estate, a lot of surface area on a small object like a flashlight to show the whole pattern on. Looks pretty good so far, but you know, we won't really know until we get it in the rinse and we get all this uh, PVA foam off. So let's go let it set and rinse off. For the water bottle, I'm gonna use a foam that I just sort of found that we had in the inventory, never used before, called Black Granite. And I think it's gonna look pretty cool. It's hard to get a sense when you just lay it over the object because you have the glare from the film and everything, but it's different. It's something that I haven't used before. Um, I put the same bright green that I put on the flashlight over this bottle. So I just want to get a sense of how this film works and use it. So, I'm going to use it. So 
were in the laser room, and uh, I did the first engraving of the Doc P. Now I'm going to do the second engraving of the Patriot Armory and coatings on the other side. Patriot Army and coatings on one side, we've got our Doc B91B on the other. You can see that everything inside is still nice and dry. We're going to put those plugs back in for its top coat, nice satin finish on all of this to so lock it all in and keep it looking like this. And then this is ready to get into someone's hands. Here is a final look at both of these items, all finished. Here we have the flashlight. It came out very nicely indeed with um, crown, the battery cap, and the clip reinstalled. And the clip can move without scratching the finish on this because it is an automotive grade clear, which means it can take um, a good amount of moving around and stuff. Still can zoom in and out. And I think the colors and the little camouflage pattern on it look really, really nice. And of course, the light still works just fine. As for the water bottle, I think this has a, a pretty unique look to it. Give a little bit of engraving on that cap there. I put the shop name and the Doc P logo onto the stainless steel bottom, which I masked off for the whole thing so that this tends to get scratched up quite a bit, you know, because this is where it sits all the time when you put it down and move it around. So uh, just leave it plain stainless steel. But the pattern on this looks really good with the colors. You know, it, it looks like a weird kind of green granite. I like it. So just a couple more things that can be done at the shop. More than, more than just the usual uh, firearms type stuff that people think about when they hear the name Patriot armory encodings. I hope you've enjoyed watching how these come out. If there's anything you'd like to see specifically us customize in the shop, please feel free to drop that in a comment on this video and let us know and we'll see what we can do about that. Join us again here at Patriot Armory Encodings to see another project again real soon.